So hey my tater tots, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video we have, well technically we have a self care Sunday video but if you're watching this on the very first day it goes up you will know today is Saturday. I do understand that this Sunday is Valentine's Day and I know a lot of you are going to probably be out and doing other things that don't involve watching YouTube videos or watching my posts. So I decided to post this a day early so that way you can watch this and it won't miss with the engagement. All that to say today is self care Sunday, but make it a day early. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and showing you some products on how to smell good, honey. This is just like universal. Everybody wants to smell good. I don't think I know one person that doesn't want to smell good. And yeah, with that being said, I really don't want to talk too much in this intro. I just kind of want to get into the tips and show you guys the products. Before we get into that though, just make sure you add me on my other social medias. They'll be on the screen. They'll be in the intro, the outro, the description box. You can't miss it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. And let's get right into the video. Video. Okay, so real quick before we even get more into it, I do just want to throw out that all of these products I'm going to show you guys are products that I use myself, products that I like, products that are luxury tie approved, and yes, yeah, so before you guys like. Before there's any questions about that, I do just want to throw that out there that yes, I approve of all of these products. If I didn't, I wouldn't show you, right? Last disclaimer, and I promise you, then we're going to get right into the video. In this video, you are going to see a lot of bottles and containers of products that are relatively full or they might be completely full never open i don't like to wait until i run out of a product or can get like super low on a product to go get a new one i buy like three or four at a time a lot of the times or like like i said i just buy in bulk so products that i'm going to be showing you some of them are open some of them because i might be on the last one the ones that are open that means i'm on the last one like I buy products in bulk, like I don't play, like I don't play at all. So that's why you're gonna see a lot of unopened packages and stuff. It's not that I don't use the products, it's that I'm using them, but not the actual one that you see me with. So yeah, all of that, because I know there were gonna be so many comments regarding those things, so I just wanted to get that out of the way first and foremost. And now let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start with soap because that's probably like the most important part of staying clean like in order to well smelling good in order to smell good you have to be clean you have to keep your body clean that's one of the tips right there um you have to be washing your body you have to be making sure your body is staying clean personally i recommend taking a shower at least once a day very minimum once a day at least every single day personally i recommend maybe twice a day especially if you're a lady or it's like that time of the month you might want to be washing a little bit more often but at the bare minimum you have to take a shower at least every single day like it's just that like it's really no compromise and take a shower every day first and foremost i recommend the dove bars because personally I like to use, I like body washes and all, but I mean like, I like to first and foremost make sure that I am clean. Cause a lot of these body washes, as crazy as it is, I mean, it's more like perfume and other things than it really is soap. So I like to go in first and foremost with my Dove bar and just make sure that my whole body is clean and then I can top off everything else after I'm clean, you know, like if that makes sense. This is the Sensitive Skin Dove Bar. It's two in a pack. Um, as y'all can see, baby, I don't play. Like, I keep these in bulk. Like, I never want to run out of soap. That's one thing I don't play with. Like, I don't play about my hygiene. Like, I need to be clean. I cannot run out of this kind of stuff. Like I said, it's a Sensitive Skin one, so if you have sensitive skin, eczema, anything like that, this is perfect for you. It shouldn't irritate you. I don't think it will. I have eczema myself, and this works fine for me. This body wash right here is probably one of my favorites. This is the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. I love that it's kind of like a scrub type of texture so you can definitely exfoliate with this if you don't even you know if you don't want to use it as a body wash you can probably just use this as a scrub this is what it looks like up close and i just think this smells so good and again even with like my sensitive skin i don't have problems with this one so if you're kind of hesitant about certain soaps due to having those types of issues 
Definitely try to check this one out if you haven't already. Here's another body wash that is absolutely great if you have sensitive skin, if you don't, even better. This is the Dove. It's just like the Dove body washes. Dove has a few different ones, but it's easy to determine which Dove soap is which because if you pay attention, they all come in like different bottles. So this bottle probably won't be too hard to <laughs> find. Um, it's this one right here. It's like a, I don't even know what kind of shape this is. It's not not necessarily an oval but you will know this bottle when you see it it's the cucumber and green tea scent it smells absolutely amazing if you ask me i love this love this so much this smells so clean this is like uh it's just like so clean it's like i love taking a shower with this one this is probably like the second best thing to the dove bar like if you just want a little bit more of like a scent this this is the one honey because it just smells so refreshing like you just smell like you just smell like you just took a nice calming deep good shower like <laughs> i mean that's like the best way i can explain it it just smells so good if you haven't smelled this one next time you're in the store if you walk past this scent just smell it right quick i'd recommend you to buy it but i mean hey if you don't buy it, at least smell it so you can know what I'm talking about. Now, these two body washes, these are the last ones I have to show you guys. And honestly, these are two newer ones. I haven't gotten much use out of them. So I just want to be upfront with you and just let you know that I don't have much experience using these. But it's because, like, these are newer to my collection. But off the bat, I don't have any problems with them. This one right here, this is the Method Body Wash. I told you guys that I was thinking about trying these in one of my, I don't know, like, girl, I be doing so many videos. I brought this up in one of my previous videos, and a lot of people were saying, like, yes, I like them. Go try it. So I was in a store, and this is the Coconut Rice Milk. Wait, I don't know if the scent is Simply Nourish or if it's coconut, it's, it's gonna be this one. It's gonna say coconut rice milk shea butter and it's gonna be like this grayish type of color. Mm -hmm. I love this, I absolutely love this. kind of gives me, this scent kind of gives me like baby, baby lotion, but like shampoo type of vibes. Like it kind of gives me like shampoo vibes, but kind of gives me like baby lotion. Girl, I don't know, but it smells good to me. I kind of want like I hate that's another thing why I don't have like a bunch of like why I don't use all of these products all around the same time because like what sense does it make to like open up a bunch of body washes before you finish one right like I use one at a time anyways moving right along like I said the last body wash I have to show you guys is this one now this I don't even know how to pronounce the name of this brand I don't have any products by this brand I haven't really heard any reviews by this brand but I saw it in a store and it smelled really good and I just decided to go ahead and try it out. This is the Coconut Milk and Vitamin E Body Wash. Again, I don't know how to pronounce the name of the actual brand, but this is what it looks like close up. It's a pretty decent sized bottle. It's like a lot of product for, what was it, four, five dollars? Like not too, too expensive. <laughs> it do, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like somebody probably used some. Ugh, ghetto Walmart. But again, I can't really talk too much more about it because I don't have really that much experience using these products, but I would definitely keep you guys updated in like my future hygiene type of hauls. If there's any issues with this one, I will come back and let you guys know that. But now that this is the last body wash, I do want to get into the lotions that I use because lotions, lotions is like going to be like your second best friend when it comes to maybe a third. I don't know, but it's going to be Lotions are gonna come in clutch when you're trying to smell good. So let's go over into the lotions. Now I wanted to do lotions next because I bought the same lotion in the same scent, same brand, everything. It's the Coconut Milk and Vitamin E, all of that. That is what it looks like close up. And it smells the same exact as the body wash. It smells so good. It smells so good. I don't know about y'all or like what type of scents y'all like to go for, but I like clean. Not necessarily neutral, but like clean and relaxing and like subtle type of scents. I don't really go towards, you know, like the fruitier or like, you know, super bold type of scents. That's just my preference. So a lot of these products you're going to see are going to be like more on that end. But yeah, this is like a matching set with like the body wash and lotion. So if you want to try these two together out. That's what they look like. These are the names of them. And again, they will be linked in the description box. Also, this lotion right here smells absolutely amazing. I don't have any problems with this Tree Hut lotion. This is the Coconut Lime Scent. And it's just, 
a regular body lotion by Tree Hood. Somebody actually bought this for me. And I, at first, like, because in all honesty, I really don't use a lot of lotions on my body with like scents and stuff or like from a bunch of different brands. That's why I don't have too many lotions to show you guys because myself personally, like I said, I have sensitive skin. So I like to just stay neutral for my lotions. I like to use my Nivea, my Aveeno and all of that stuff so I can make sure my skin is really being moisturized and taken care of so I don't have like any eczema flare ups or anything like that. But yeah, this one, it has a smell to it, of course. and. It still just doesn't bother me. So again, here's another product. If you have any type of sensitive skin issues or eczema or anything like that, and you wanna just try some new products out, I would recommend trying this one. I don't know where this is from, but again, everything will be linked in the description. So just make sure you check that out. Now, in all honesty, I am kinda hesitant to even show y'all these perfumes and stuff because Last time I showed y'all perfume. Now, honestly, I don't know if this has anything to do with it on why I can't find my favorite perfume anymore, but I do find it a little funny how the second, man, you, I have never, as long as I've been using this perfume since like maybe my sophomore, junior year at the very latest of high school, I have never, not once have I had a problem with finding this perfume. The second I came on here and told y'all about it, it was sold out at all times. I still ain't been able to find me a new one. But again, you know what? We, we not even gonna talk about this. I don't know if it has any type of correlation, but I do think that's a little bit funny. But anyways, I'm, you know, I'm just nice. Probably a little too nice. So I'ma still show y'all some perfumes that I recommend. I'ma start with the one that I'm talking about and it's this one right here. This is the Envy Me Perfume by Gucci and I absolutely love this so much. As you can see, I'm still just holding on to this little bit I got left. I haven't even been using it because I don't want to use it up until I get me another one. It's very subtle, very classy, very late. Like this just smell like, like if you, like if I was to smell this, like I just assume it's like a very sophisticated, classy, well put together lady. Like this is what I would envision that type of woman smells like, like, oh my gosh. It is on the pricier side, I'm not gonna lie, this might be out of some people's range or even if it's within your means, like I fully understand that some people, they got it like that, like if they wanted to buy, if they wanted to invest in this, like they absolutely could in a heartbeat, but some people, they, they just don't have it in them to spend that type of money on a perfume and that's completely fine. I am gonna show you guys some more affordable alternatives because contrary to popular belief, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to smell nice, you just don't. Or if you're anything like me, you just can't find this one, <sighs> Let me move on. Now this one. This is my baby, y'all. This is my baby. I wouldn't give her up for the world. This is my Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume. This is the day scent because Marc Jacobs does, like the Daisy collection. It's like a collection at this point because there's so many Daisy perfumes. Uh, but this one is the days if you guys are wondering. This is just it's okay now i'm not gonna lie again i'm not too big on like the fruitier type of scents like the playful type of um fragrances or anything like that but this one it is more on that side than some of the other ones i have but it's not like too strong it just smells it's a very feminine type of smell it just smells very sweet it smells very um younger if that makes sense it's like a like if I were to smell this, I would think this is like a maybe a younger woman. But yes, I highly recommend this one. It smells so good, like so, so good. If you're looking to invest in a nice, good quality, luxury type of perfume, I definitely recommend the Daisy perfume by Marc Jacobs. Even if it's not this one, check out the whole Daisy line because I don't think I've smelled one Daisy perfume that didn't smell good. So you can kind of look into those, like that whole collection and see like which ones you like. Another tip for smelling good is when you go out, keep you a rollerball or something in your purse or a rollerball or like a travel size perfume in your purse or in your car, in your bag, whatever. Just make sure you're taking it somewhere with you. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Y'all see that little bit I'm holding on to. 
Girl, I love her so bad. It, girl, we done been through so much. I don't even got the top for it no more. <laughs> yeah, so if you're, again, looking for a scent to invest in, I highly recommend the whole Daisy collection. But yeah, make sure you keep something in your purse, your car, something like that. Again, it doesn't have to be a luxury type of fragrance. Just find one that you like, something that smells good. Make sure it corresponds with the rest of what you have on if you have other products on because you don't, I mean... Some people like to mix scents. Personally, that's not my thing. I feel like it's just going to give me and other people around me a headache. Peach scented body wash, but then cucumber scented uh, perfume. And then like a, when you went in the shower, you use like a lavender scrub. Like, okay, like which one did you want to do today? Like that's a lot for one day. I, I feel like you should just kind of pick one thing and like stick with it throughout the whole day until it wears off. But again, if you like to mix scents, that's, you know that's your thing personally i don't like to i wouldn't recommend it but do you if that's what works for you now y'all when i tell y'all i have never this next product i have never tried this i've never even seen this never heard of it nothing again how i was saying about some more inexpensive alternatives if splurging on expensive um products and things are it's really not up your alley that's fine i'm gonna show you guys something that might be a little bit more in your price range i was at walmart not too long ago and I came across this fragrance a body spray. And at first I didn't even know what it was. It was in like the travel section, like where you get like your mini like travel size toiletries and stuff. I was looking and I was like, it had a bunch of different ones. And I'm like, what is that? And I just picked one up and I saw that it was a spray and it's called Capri Breeze. It says like light blue by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, personally, I don't know if you guys have ever smelled the light blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I like the scent. I actually bought it a little while ago and literally returned it the same day because I just decided that, like, when I smelled it, I liked it, but I didn't like it on me because, again, I like more subtle type of scents, like, more airy type of scents. Light blue is a little bit more on the heavier side, so, again, it smells really nicely, don't get me wrong, but, personally, I just don't like heavier scents on my body. This little spray from Walmart, it literally has it on the top, and I sprayed it just to see. I was like, it kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, it definitely smells like light blue. Not spot one, but it definitely does smell like light blue. I ain't gonna lie to you, like the spray, the only thing that I personally don't like, the spray, like, do y'all see that? Like, it smells good, don't get me wrong, but it definitely gives me like air freshener vibes. It definitely gives more air freshener than perfume. But hey, that's just my opinion. If it don't bother you, don't worry about what I'm talking about. Like, it's not even for me. I came on here to show y'all. Again, go in your toiletry section in Walmart, the travel size toiletries. At Walmart, it was 97 cents. It was 97 cents, y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. It was 97 cents. They had a few other ones, but this one, I decided to pick this one up because, like I said, it was a light blue type of, not replica, but like a light blue, I don't even know. It, it was supposed to be like light blue by Dolce & Gabbana, like I said. And I, and, and just since I knew exactly what light blue smelled like, it was easy for me to compare it to. But you can go in there. They had a few other ones. You can kind of smell them and see which ones you like, which you don't like. But yeah, like for a 97 cent, like girl, you can get five of these. It smell good too. I ain't gonna lie to you. It smell real good. But like I said, I just, this is not the type of scent I go for. But smell this. They got this one. It's like a pink one. All of that. But for 97 cent, that was really my whole point in buying it. And it, the fact that it actually smells like a $80 perfume, because that perfume was $80 when I just bought it. Y'all, go check it out. Even if you don't buy it, next time you're on Walmart, stop at that out and just see what I'm talking about. But no, to piggyback off of what I was saying about the fragrances, I understand that everybody is not into all of the luxury, high-end, all of that. Everybody's not into that. I know for a fact, Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, they have tons of good scents. Like, they have stores full of scents. So, I mean, I don't use those personally on my body anymore. But I know from experience, like, come on now. Like, I mean, I don't use them no more. But I'm not the type to, you know, forget where I came from, baby. I kept me some Bath & Body Works back in the day. Like, middle school, even like the beginning of high school. Like, I kept me some Bath & Body Works. So, like, I know for a fact, they have some really good scents. I'm sure if, you know, if you're not into, you know, spending all of that money or you know you just don't have it like that go in bath and body works and um victoria's secret all of that find you a nice little spray find you i mean they have so many scents like you you are bound to find at least one that you like get you a few of them for about twenty dollars 
you know, and you be good to go. And even back then, I used to get lots of compliments like about how good I smell and stuff. So yeah, Victoria's Secret Bath and Body Works, I know they have scents and all of that, but just the heck. And that's like another one of the tips that I had to tell you guys. If you're going to get a more cheaper type of perfume, like your Bath and Body Works and stuff, that's fine. But just a heck since, you know, typically those type of scents, they wear off pretty easily and they don't last as long as maybe a higher quality one. Take you a little bit of Vaseline and place it, like don't put too, too much because then you're just going to be shiny, but put enough to where, you know, it's, you know, rub it in and stuff and it's not, you know, it's enough. Put it wherever you're gonna place your perfume. So like your wrist, maybe on your neck or wherever else you like to spray yours. Um, put a little bit of Vaseline there and then spray it and it'll help it last a little bit longer. So that's just a hack for the ladies that's gonna use, you know, a more affordable type of perfume. Personally, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm not huge on body oils. I kind of just got into it, but, um, I like them and again if you have like drier skin like I do this is probably another helpful hack to apply you maybe like when you get out the shower just apply you a light coat of body oil like all over your body just so you can stay so your skin is staying hydrated and it's not being dried up by other products and things like that I just got this one not too long ago and this is the Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath and body oil I have the lavender one because I love lavender and it smells so good <laughs> it smells like a lavender essential oil that's what it smells like um this is the bottle up close and again like i said it's full this one i just started using so this one i don't have like too much prior knowledge on and i'm not gonna lie to y'all before i started using this for my oil i would just use like johnson and johnson baby oil don't do that you can read more on it i'm not here to deliver that message but yeah johnson and johnson products are not good for you at all i don't even use that anymore so i did just get into this i will keep you guys updated on how i like this but this is something to consider i, I like dr teal's products in general so i don't think i'll have any issues with this one <laughs> but yeah now, as far as scrubs i don't have too too many to show you guys but i do have you know like a good amount and i feel like scrubs are Highly overlooked scrubs are very important and you know having radiant skin and healthy skin and stuff because when you scrub when you use scrubs and you exfoliate and things like that, the whole purpose of that is to get all of that dead skin off of you. So please, if you've been skipping that step, it's okay. But from here on out, please make sure you're not skipping that. I'm gonna show you guys a few scrubs that you can possibly use and try out if you just need help on finding a scrub. Like I mentioned earlier, there's this Caress one. Technically, this is a body wash, but um, you could definitely use this as a scrub because like I said, it's an exfoliating body wash. So it kinda is designed to do like both at the same time. You can definitely just use this like you can use like another soap to clean you but use this as the scrub this dove exfoliating polish right here this is the mango one i believe oh my gosh like this smells absolutely amazing as you can see i've been using this one for maybe a good little minute or so actually i only bought one of these because this was my first time trying this product out and i just wanted to get one and see how i liked it i ended up liking it a lot so i will be back to get more of these and to try out maybe some new scents by them what i really like about these it's like a light exfoliation like i can definitely like i feel like i get the same results that i get from other scrubs and stuff but this one is not as harsh as you can see it doesn't even look like a scrub it looks more like a lotion but trust me like it's, it's definitely gonna work it's definitely gonna get the job done but yeah these dove exfoliating polishes highly recommend and they smell so good aside from those you guys know if you've been keeping up with me on my channel like i i literally rave and live by the tree hut scrubs i'm sure you saw the tree hut scrubs here or there they're pretty popular so i don't have any at this moment so i can't show you guys because i ran out that's why i buy in bulk because like I ran out of my tree hut one the other day and I don't have any more. So I do need to go get some more of those. But again, those will be linked in the description box as well. Those are like my number one. That's like what would be my first recommendation to you guys for a scrub. But again, you can try out some of the other ones I showed you. And when you use your scrubs, this is also, I mean, not necessarily a necessity, but it'll definitely be helpful if you guys get you a pair of some exfoliating gloves. I have a pink pair right here. Um, for when you exfoliate or if you don't want to do this you can um you can also use a loofah that's what i used to use before i had exfoliating gloves personally i feel like the exfoliating gloves are better because 
it's like formatted in the shape of your hand and it's like all over so you can kind of get like spots that the loofah maybe can't get so like you know you see like it's kind of like as if you were like rubbing your body but you know you're going to be exfoliated in the process you see what i'm saying so yeah you can get exfoliating gloves pretty much anywhere you can get them off amazon i don't remember i think i got mine at like tj maxx or something and i also got a blue pair because i feel like they look cute and it came in a two pack and it was like three dollars that's what i'm saying just look around this kind of stuff is really not that expensive if not get you one of these like little silicone scrubber things so like you would just like run it past you like that these i mean they work i like them i really don't have too many complaints but i definitely would prefer the exfoliating gloves over these because i just feel like the exfoliating gloves gives you like more of that like all over effect like it's really hard to miss with these versus the um versus this like you see like it can get like bent up and stuff especially when you have water going it can kind of get a little tricky but um i definitely still recommend them the so last but not least we have our last section of our body well our last category so to say and that is our mouth i feel like this is a category that's very overlooked sometimes when we talk about taking care of our body and smelling good but baby you can have your whole body cleaned moisturized spray down to the gods honey if you if your breath stinks if your mouth stinks like then who even cares about anything else you know so real quick i don't have too many products for this category but i do just want to kind of like recap some things that if you don't have you might want to get or if you don't use you might want to try um first things first you're gonna need you a toothbrush this is a multi-pack of toothbrushes it's six in here um yeah like i said i like to keep two brushes on hand as well because i mean when you go to the dentist and stuff dentists they tell you to change out your toothbrush at least once every three to four months personally that just doesn't sit right with me i don't i couldn't imagine keeping one toothbrush for four months i just that's just me though so i like to change my toothbrush on the first of every month that's just like a habit i've gotten into in previous years so Every first of the month, I change my toothbrush. And like I said, it's really not an expensive thing to do. I got this whole pack of six for literally a dollar at like Walmart. Like literally a dollar and some change. Like, so you can buy two packs of these and that'd be $2 for two brushes the whole year. Like $2 a year to keep your mouth in order. Like, come on now. Like that's like, that's like beyond realistic. After you get your toothbrush, you're going to want to get you some toothpaste you probably guessed it this is the toothpaste that i recommend again this is my backup i need to go put it in there now because i'm like rolling it up squeezing the last little bit out of the one that's in the bathroom but this is the toothpaste that i like to use this is my favorite toothpaste this is the arm and hammer advanced white toothpaste and i just feel like it gets my teeth so white it keeps my teeth so white i haven't had any problems with this it has baking soda and all of that in it so if you like to use baking soda on your teeth the baking soda and stuff is already you know within the toothpaste so you really don't have to take that step it works i like it a lot i don't have any complaints about it i've been using it for probably some years now and this is my favorite toothpaste like i love it it's to the point i like this one so much i don't even use other toothpaste like i don't like Crest. i don't like colgate colgate is the worst if you ask me colgate oh oh i couldn't imagine putting like colgate in my mouth like come on now it's like three dollars at walmart all of these products pretty much all of them can be found at like walmart amazon you can pretty much they're not too hard to find now mouthwash now i feel like i tried to tell y'all about this in a previous video but i didn't have it on hand this is the mouthwash i was referring to when i told y'all it was like a purple crest mouthwash it's this one this is my new bottle that i just bought the other day mouthwash is one of those things it's like pads like you don't wait until you run out like you need to always have backups like you don't wait for that kind of stuff so this is my brand new bottle it is the crest advanced what is it called pro health advanced enamel care mouthwash it's this big purple bottle this whole bottle is like four five dollars again not expensive bottom line is i recommend this mouthwash if you guys just want to try a new one and technically this is not like oral hygiene but i do just again me being a little bit too nice i gotta stop showing y'all all the stuff that i like to use because when i show y'all i go in the store to get me some and i can't find it no more but i'm gonna show y'all anyway just because i feel like being nice the ruby kisses lip care i'm sorry not lip care hydrating lip oil is the one this is actually what i have on right now it's just a clear gloss and it stays on you know i like it it's not too sticky not too sticky it has like a um i don't know if it's like tea tree oil in here or like mint or something but bottom line is it's gonna have your mouth tasting so good personally i'm not the type i don't go around just 
you know, swapping kisses with everybody. I mean, cause like, come on now, what kind of female do you think I am? I'm exclusive. So of course I don't do anything like that. But I mean, to the few that have had that luxury, um, I didn't hear no complaints. If anything, I heard more reassurance as to what I was already telling y'all about it. But again, we're not here to talk about me. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I just wanted to tell you that the proof is in the pudding and I didn't hear no complaints. I didn't hear no back talk. I didn't hear no nothing. Come here, my mouth tastes good. <laughs> Anyways, that about wraps up all of the products I have to show you guys. Just a quick recap of all the tips. It was only like four. Um, if you're gonna use cheap perfume, put a little bit of Vaseline down. Make sure you're washing your body once or twice a day, once at the very minimum. Please do this every single day. Keep your rollerball or your travel size sprays with you at all times in case you know, you know, you need to like freshen up sometimes. And please make sure you're brushing your teeth twice a day. This is non-negotiable. Brush your teeth in the morning, brush your teeth at night, even maybe more than twice, like in between certain meals, like depending on what you're eating, like you might want to like brush your teeth in between, make sure you're flossing, doing all that type of stuff. All that I was saying about the oral health care, please make sure you're staying on top of that too, because yes, it's important to keep our bodies intact, but don't forget about your mouth. Like, come on now, don't forget about your mouth. You can't be like no pretty girl and your mouth is like out of order. Like you can't like, you know, you just, uh, even if you're an ugly girl, like who wants their, like their breath to stink or their mouth to stink or their teeth yellow? Like nobody wants that. Pretty ugly, boy, girl, black, white, nobody wants that. Nobody wants their hygiene to be off. So it's very important that you consider these tips I told you. Try out some of these products maybe if you're interested in some. Again, all of the links will be in the description box. You can go check those out. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If there's any products you recommend that I didn't mention, go ahead and leave those in the comments. With all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on the post notifications so you never miss when I post a video, make sure you add me on my other socials. Those will be back on the screen. There'll be an intro to outro in the description box. You can't miss it. And thank you guys once again for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.